In this video, I'm going to talk about intake rules, classification, and assignment. First, let's look at intake rules. So if you go to Workstream, in Workstream, you will see we have uh, multiple Workstreams created, one for record, one for messaging, and another one is for record. But in record, you will see the type. One is for email channel, and the other one is for case channel. So you can create any number of Workstreams. How you create an Workstream? So let's say click New Workstream, and you can say, for example, I'll create a refund work stream here. And I can create, uh, I'll have like multiple types. So I can create a record work stream, which is like case email, or I can create a messaging. Messaging is nothing, but you can have like, for example, chat, Facebook, SMS, Twitter, and you can do like a voice. Voice is like the telephony. So you can create, let's say I'm going to create a record. In here, I'm going to select, for example, here's the list of a channel. So I'm going to select case. And I have two options, either a push model or a pick model. Push model is nothing but it will automatically assign the case to an agent based on the agent's um, capacity and presence. Pick model will basically send all the cases to a queue and the agents can go and pick the cases based on their availability and uh, whom they have access to that particular queue. So let's say I'm creating a case or stream called a refund or stream. So click create. So now I'm creating a work stream here. So even though it's a refund or stream, I don't have an intake rule here. So I'm going to create an intake rule, which is like very important. Why it is important is let's say when a case comes in, and which is specific to refund and you want to send all your cases to the refund work stream. So let's say over here as I call it as like a refund intake rule and I'm calling here let's say a title as like case title and uh, contains you see here there are like variety of uh, uh, um, the way that you can do um, you can do uh, either equal or like contains or does not contains so you can you can use like however you want um, which actually help you to determine which condition you want to use so for example i'll say like case title contains refund and so what i'm saying is when a case comes in if the case title contains refund then i want to go to this refund work stream that's what intake rule will do basically intake rule will help determine which work stream to be picked up for an incoming work item right so let's say over here i'll go to the work stream and I'll select the refund work stream. I'll go ahead and create. So now what I did is I created a refund work stream and then I created the uh, intake rule. You will see here only one intake rule, right? But in this, since this is a this is a one particular organization, you will see like all the intake rules will be here. So when I click here, you will see here like there is already there were like a couple of uh, intake rules created, and this is the one I just created. And the first intake rule, what it says is, for example, if you open it, it says intake case originated via email or from US, UK, Thailand division, right? And here's what the origin you can set. And if the case comes from any of these like origins, then it will go to the CCD record work stream, right? When you click over here, you will see like a couple of work streams here. And he, for this particular scenario, CCD record work stream makes sense, right? So I go ahead and do that. And then next one, you will see over here, the second one is about like intake with high priority case. The high priority is nothing but if the case type equals problem, then I want that case should go to CCD record work stream. So then it will go to the CCD record work stream. So you can have it. And the third one is the one that I created. So this condition, right? It'll actually like if this condition matches, for example, then it will go to this work stream. So for example, when a case comes in with a title, because it is in this order, order is very important. You will see order one, order two, order three, and you'll see the up and down arrow. I can move this order up or down, however you want. I can show you. And also like next to the order, you will see three dots. Like when I click over here, you will see edit, which is like I can edit the rule or I can delete or I can say like, let's say copy rule. So when I copy the rule, the rule got copied. Now I can do the paste rule below. So when I do the paste rule below, 
you will see the same row it got copied here right and let's say if i don't want this i'll click and then i can delete here right um, I, I deleted here so what uh, this particular scenario right when a case comes in right if the case title has intake right if the case title has intake so what it will happen is it will check this condition no nope, this is not the condition it will check this condition no nope, this is not the condition then if the case title contains refund then it will go to the refund work stream let's say if a case has origin from uh, origin is email right when the case comes in if the origin has email then it will go to this work stream if the case type is equals problem then it will go to this particular work stream for for this scenario we keep like both the uh, um, both the uh, rules goes to a specific work stream but you can determine how you want it right you can change so this basically helps to determine which work stream you want to go once you identify which work stream it goes inside the work stream you can actually do the classification and then you can do route to queue so then it will actually go for the assignment so we just saw very high level how to create the work um, how to create the work stream and how to set up the intake rules and uh, what are the conditions that you can go ahead and create right so this is the current methodology which is the unified routing work stream model so you might wonder if you're already an existing customer service customer hey the customer service customers are like not using uh, um, the work stream but they are using routing rule set for the people who are already know customer service they might heard the terminology like routing rule set so that's why we are using something called the record routing so let's say when you click record routing i already have a window open here when you click record routing you can create your record type by clicking add and create a work time, uh, record type i already created a case so for example when you click case you will see here it will open a window where you will see the list of uh, intake rules and all the work streams and if i have like a basic routing rule set you will see the basic routing rule set too right so in intake rule so you want to go to this basic uh, rules so let's say you click see more and you click the refund intake rule in here if the case title contains refund instead of a refund work stream you can actually select basic routing rule set and you can select like basic rules so when you click save so what it meant by is when a case title contains a refund it will go to the basic rules so the people who are already using the routing rule sets that is like without UR, right they can still um, having this functionality you can actually onboard into UR, and you can use create intake rule and you can still point to the old routing rule sets until you create the new work stream so this intake rule has a very powerful uh, methodology that you know create a condition and you determine whether you want to go and use your old uh, basic routing rule sets or you can use your new uh, unified routing work stream so now we talked about the intake rules now let's go to uh, so this is the one that i'm going to use using for demonstration so if you see over here so this is the record work stream which we already created and we already talked about this intake rule now let's look about look at the routing rule set so what it meant by is let's say when the case type equals problem you are saying go to ccd record work stream which is this work stream so when it comes to this work stream i have a classification classification split into two parts one is work classification and the other one is route to queue so in here so the work classification so let's say over here first i'll go to the see more and look at the type of uh, work classification has been created so what you are seeing here this is called the rule set and when you click for example one of the rule set you will see the list of rules right so the way it works is in rule set it will execute all the rules right it will execute all the rule sets but when it goes to the rule set you will see multiple rules right 
if this condition matches then it won't go and execute the arrest so for example if the case con uh, case type equals problem then it uses for example if you go over here you will see here set high priority row and the case contains case type equals problem then the priority is set to high so it says when the case type equals problem priority is set to high and when the case type equals request set to normal and case type equals question set to low so you are setting you know uh, a kind of uh, uh, a classification rule of saying hey you know what based on the case type i want to set the attribute as high normal or low in the rule so it will execute all the rule sets in the let's say i'll go and create one for example here um, so for, let's say when i go ahead and uh, see um, create new and in here you will see uh, a manual rule type or the machine learning model so let's say i want to create a manual rule type so i can create for example um, refund rule and i can create a refund rule rule set so inside the refund rule set i can go ahead and like create uh, a rule name and uh, a condition and i can determine like you know which attribute so if i want to set like for example a specific skill i can select a skill here and then set so you can define like however you want so this is one way of doing the manual or classification but there is other which is the um the ml right so um for example using the intelligent skill finder so the how you can create one here is let's say um i'll go and delete this one let's say i'll create one here instead of manual i'll select like machine learning model and i can use a name let's say uh, ml um, rule set and i can select the uh, the role like you will see here the skill identification will help you to identify which skill um, can be added to that particular case right you can determine the skill identification you can use it for either like a, a this is the model that we already created so how the skill identification model you will have a separate session but in this like what i want to say here is let's say a case comes in and you will see the case um, has uh, a type problem and it has you said already set a priority but if you want to add a priority as a skill right you can add a skill to that case now that particular case has a type problem and also you can add a skill of a problem so if an agent who can handle a skill uh, a problem so we can actually assign this particular case right for that particular agent by using the matching skills as part of the assignment so um that is one way to do so here you can create your ml rule set so the one that we already created for example set skills using Uh, isf in here what it says is the description so you can do like a case description or you can use like even a like case title here you can do case title so you can define the skills based on the information available in a case title or a case description or any attribute you will see here like the list of uh, um, attributes you can select which one that you want to do right and uh, so there are like two ways you can create uh, uh, on the our classification so if you look at it over here this example you can use the same functionality move up and move, move down and uh, the same here edit delete copy rule set paste rule set and also you will see the same up and down edit delete and copy rule set here and in this scenario you will see it, you will see like bunch of rule sets one is for case priority which we already talked about and you will see one is for the uh, skills and we have like a sentiment prediction and effort estimate sentiment prediction is nothing but based on the uh, the case um, title description the information you can identify like positive negative neutral sentiment that um, based on like what the case is about and the effort estimate estimate effort is nothing but 
based on the existing data the model effort estimate model will identify how much time it required to solve this case so then you can identify like which agents are available for that much time let's say a case needed 30 minutes and if there are agents who are available for 30 minutes or more it will assign to that particular agent and here there is like one specific one he created like a manual skill so if you see over here set espresso mission skill and what it says here is you see here set espresso mission skills and if the case title contains espresso missions and or like a description contains espresso missions then put espresso mission as a skill right and uh, if you click over here you will have like a list of if you want to add like more skill you can go ahead and create right or you can actually do a search and you can add like more skills over here so what it does it basically add the skill or attach the skill to the case right so now you have a list of skills you created a manual skill or an ml skill and uh, each rule set has multiple rules in it so once you classify the case the next thing you are doing here is the route to queue route to queue is very important it's a mandatory that you need to fill so when you go to the route to queue you will see here like a list of items so it will basically execute each one of those let's look at the first one what the first one it says here is it says route to queue high priority if the record um, contains data and the priority equals high then i go to um, ccd usa entity support queue right this is the queue you can go and uh, you will have like multiple conditions you can have so now let's go back here and look at it the first thing let's say there is a problem there is a case which has a type problem right so in intake rules the moment it sees a problem it will basically go and assign to this particular uh, uh, work stream which is the ccd record work stream which is the same here in the work stream what you are saying here is when the case type equals problem i want to classify this case priority set to high right now the priority set to high and in route to queue all i'm doing here is if i have the priority equals high then go to this queue right because i already in the classification i already set the priority equal to high because of problem type the type case type equal to problem right so now i can go to the um, cca usd entity support so we saw the um, intake rule classification and route to queue there is one more thing we can check it in here which is of work distribution so when you create a work stream you will see uh, these four items you will see an intake rule classification route to queue and our distribution so what in the work distribution since we already created the push model you will see here a unit based or a profile based so i'll talk about like what is a capacity profile and uh, so for example let's say i create like a capacity i'll select a capacity profile and i can use like you know um, ccj case agent profile so what's the difference between a unit based and a profile based unit based is nothing but let's say an agent and you assign um, agent capacity is like let's say 100 by default and uh, for this particular case if the agent has worked reduce 30 from the 100 right that's what it says and in capacity profile so what it does says is that for this particular case go ahead and go ahead and find the agent who has the ccd case agent profile which is a type of a capacity profile and if the profile uh, got created basically you have to go ahead and create a ccd case agent profile in capacity profile and you can say you can add a value or let's say five what does that mean by is the agent can handle five of ccd case agent uh, profile cases on that particular day right and uh, if you want to increase you can go ahead and do but you can determine like how you want to so we can talk about more clear, clear, clearly uh, about the capacity profile and the next thing here is 
the block capacity for wrap up. So what does that mean by is that, let's say if uh, the agent has a capacity and uh, after, after the case um, got, when the agent had the conversation or when the case got completed, right? Do you want to uh, have this cases, the capacity got blocked until you know wrap up and close the case or you want to keep it open. So for example, don't block. What is that meant by is even when the agent actually picks up the case and working on it, his capacity always is available. So he keep getting it because like we are not blocking his capacity, right? So that's that's the way that the block capacity, we can go in detail about how this block capacity wrap up will work. And allowed presence, allowed presence, what it meant by is that we have different types of uh, presence, like, you know, available, busy, busy, do not disturb. And uh, what we are saying is we can assign the cases when the agents has allowed presence. This will be available uh, or like this can be used in the uh, assignment. I'll show you like how we can use it in the assignment. And uh, you can have like a the default skill matching algorithm. By default, it's none, but you can do exact match. So what is that meant by is, let's say a case, if the case has like four, you are attaching like four different skills for that particular case. And if, an, if I have an agent, and if the agent has uh, the same, if you put like four exact match, the case will assign to an agent if the agent has a similar skills matching then then it will assign otherwise it won't assign because you are saying an exact match only you can assign and the other option you can do is like closest match what it will does is that it basically go and look at the skills associated to a case and it will identify who are all the agents uh, available and if there is a closest match of the skill it will go and assign the case uh, to the um, agent <clears throat> so this is where this is how it works in here now i talked about like the capacity profile let me quickly touch what is a capacity profile here so let me cancel this if i go to the user attribute and you will see here capacity profile and i click manage and you will see you over here CCD case agent profile. This is what we talked about. So what we are saying is I created this profile and I put a work item limit of 10 and the recent frequency is immediate. What does that mean by is it's actually immediately reset. And let's say you can set, there are two ways you can reset the frequency. One is immediate and then daily. So when I set like daily, so you can do only 10 cases on that particular day. After 10 cases, you cannot use this and how an agent can get this uh, associated to the ccd case agent profile so you can go to users so let's say these are all like uh, the list of uh, agents who has the uh, ccd case agent profile and chat profile for example when a case comes in and if the case you are saying like use capacity profile so if the matching profile you say like exact match it'll actually match uh, the capacity profile and also it will look at it like the um, agent um, availability and also it will look at the uh, the capacity limit for example if they have like for example zero here uh, for a specific uh, um, profile right it means no agents has that capacity because it's always like zero you said right but if you say like 10 what it meant by is that particular agent who are associated to this um, CCD case agent profile can um, take up to 10 work items on that particular day, right? If you set the um, reset frequency set to daily. And we have like assignment blocking. So for example, what is that meant by is, for example, when you have like set to one here and uh, the agent can take only one and you'll see immediate. And let's say you put assignment blocking. What does that mean by is you put one and the moment a case got assigned and this will become zero, right? So when it becomes zero, it won't assign any work item to you because you set assignment blocking set to yes, right? And when the agent finished the case, the moment he closed the case, this you say like recent frequency set to immediate, then it will become one again. Because what happens is when the agent is working on the case, it will become zero. It will block the assignment and the moment the agent closes the case, 
the zero become one because you said the recent frequency is immediate then the next case will get assigned so it's keep continuing so he can get only one case at a time and he can work and uh, let's say you put like 10 and uh, uh, you you put like even assignment blocking set to yes so what does that mean by us that until this becomes zero or any capacity profile under you has become zero you can keep getting work items um, based on like you know how many capacity profiles you have and how many cases that are matching that capacity profile and which are like you know associated uh, to you so those cases will get assigned to you so we talked about the capacity profile um, intake rules or streams in what stream uh, we talked about intake rules uh, classification route to queue and work distribution now let's go to um, the assignment the assignment will basically go consider as like a queue is the assignment because the assignment happens as part of the queue so i already have the assignment thing open here so if you see over here queue all i can do is you know i can go ahead and like create a new queue and i'll say like uh, refund queue I'll just create an example and here I can say similarly like you know whether you can do the uh, record queue or messaging queue or voice queue let's say I put like a record queue and I'll say like group number one I create the moment I create it will create a new queue so in this queue you will see uh, first thing you need to add a user to this queue right when a case got assigned to this particular queue as part of a route to queue then who are like the users as part of this uh, particular queue right they can take the case and um, we'll talk about the assignment method and the operation hours so let me go back to the queue that we created for the demo purposes right so in in here we talked about let's say here ccd record stream in here we talked about go to in the route to queue we said CSCCD USA Entity Support Queue, right? Let me go back here. CCD USA Entity Support Queue. When you go over here, I'll see like there are like three uh, agents and uh, two agents and a supervisor got assigned. And here is the capacity profile and what is their capacity units. So you can use either capacity units or capacity profile. Even though it shows over here, it doesn't mean you can use both. So an organization can determine if you want to use capacity profile use only capacity profile do not use capacity units at all or if you are using capacity units do the capacity profile or do only the capacity units and our recommendation is that use capacity profile because capacity profile you have like more control and uh, how the cases uh, needs to be uh, how many cases needs to be assigned and uh, you can determine much of things you can block assignments you know you can do many uh, um, features in this capacity profile so and then we'll have the business in it right and now i have the list of uh, agents who are associated to this particular queue and the next thing i'm going to talk about the assignment method assignment method is basically we have a default the system has like two different assignment methods which is is capacity and round robin right so let's say over here when i click see more you will see here is capacity and round robin by default the system will always select when you create a new queue by default you will see is capacity what it meant by is when you have a list of agents whoever has the is capacity the case will go and get assigned to that particular agent and uh, round robin is if you have like 10 agents it will just like go one two three four it will just do a round robin of assigning and if you want the cases to be assigned on however that you need so then you can create the custom assignment so before we get into the custom assignment let me go back here so you created the you added the user here by click you know add user you can add user and you can do the assignment method the next is operation hours if you don't set any operation hours it means it's active 24 by 7 but you can set operation hours let's say you want to operate only uh, certain hours like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. okay when you click save and close so what does that mean by here's this particular queue will be active from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. right and that is the uh, that is the operation hours that you are set and based on that 
this you can define like how you want the cases to be routed and uh, um, so you know like the, you can route uh, you can handle the queue however that you like right so let me go back and say like remove operation hours here for now so now this particular queue has uh, been operating uh, like 24 by 7 right and let's talk about assignment assignment is uh, actually determined how the work item is assigned right you can use uh, the out of box assignment methods or the custom assignment so let me talk about the custom assignment in custom assignment we have two things one is prioritization and the assignment rule set right if you click edit since i already created you will have like a prioritization and you will have like the assignment there are two uh, splits here so let's talk about prioritization what is prioritization and if you see over here i have like multiple conditions when there is a case priority equal to high first in first out and when the case priority equals normal then created the case got created based on the ascending order right so you'll say over here when the priority equals normal then the created on based on ascending order right and in here same thing when there is a ticket you will see here like the case number based on descending so you can define like how you want that it get ordered so what this rule says here let's say that when there is a case comes in right and if the case has let's say a high and it will basically first in first out and uh, let's say when the case um, comes in with normal but if there is uh, a list of uh, cases who are uh, priority equals high i would say like you know you can bucketize like for example when you have like a bunch of uh, cases coming in so it'll actually bucketize okay the first rule set all the high priority i'm going to put it in a bucket and all the normal priority i'm going to put it in a bucket and then low priority i'm going to put it in a bucket so i'll put like you know bucket and every time when it got assigned i will basically run through this bucket first i'll go always I'll go through the first in first out because you know that is the order that I put you can change the order however you want so based on this order that you can actually um, prioritize so in this scenario even though I have a normal uh, tickets and a low tickets uh, low priority tickets are available when there is a high priority case comes in that is what will be like determined so you can determine that which needs to be treated first right so let's say you have uh, hundreds of cases that is like in the queue and there is some high priority case comes in that will get prioritized but if there are bunch of priority cases already in the queue and when there is a new uh, case also comes with the same priority then consider it will basically like go in like a first in first out right which one uh, um, <clears throat> first in last out because it's all like considered as the same right so that's how it works within that so there is a difference like what as i said like a first in first out the first in first out is for when you have like bunch of here but when you have like a same set of cases then it will go by the date like what time it come in and then it will go and get uh, uh, get prioritized so you can prioritize your case however you want so once you got the prioritization now you got assignment right assignment has like two ways like you can do the selection criteria and the assignment rule set so if you look at it for example the selection criteria let's say see more in the selection criteria the first condition what i have is for example when i click over here i am saying when the case contains data if the priority equals normal or high then go to assignment by priority so this is the rule set if you see over here i can do either assignment by priority or assignment by skills so this this i'm talking about priority let's say i'll go assignment by priority so when i go to assignment by priority in here all i'm saying here is that if since that i go by priority and i'm going to say here when the presence equals available or busy then go to the round robin so i'm going to look as part of the assignment now i got the priority now i need to look at it the presence if the presence equals available or busy then it will go and follow the round robin and assign the case to the agent the one that we talked about 
uh, the in here let me show you quickly in here in the work stream in the record work stream we saw here right the allowed presence so you can set the allowed presence here and then you can use it in the assignment so what does that mean by is in allowed presence i am available i mean i am making it available that the agents were available to take cases or like get assigned whatever that status it is here because i am making even if they are offline i am saying like go ahead and assign right in assignment you can say when the present status equals instead of static value static is like you determine what value you want but when i say like a dynamic match in here i select the attribute the work stream right and then i will select the allowed presence here so whatever that I set in here as allowed presence, this is what that I can use it here. So I'm dynamically. Now you go and change here, like let's say I don't want this here. I will assign cases only if it is available. You can go and save and close. In here, it will actually look for whatever that the dynamic presence value. Since you say like only if it is available, use it. So then it will assign the cases only if the agents are available. So you can use the presence that however you can set either by static value or dynamic, right? So uh, in here, like when we already have this dynamic example, which you saw it in here. So, so in the assignment, as we said, you can prioritize your case that however you want. If you don't follow, uh, if you don't want to use the highest capacity or a round robin, you can determine that I want certain uh, um, companies cases that I need to prioritize or specific type of a case that I want to prioritize and in assignment you can determine that you know for priority I want to use this uh, assignment by priority or if you want to use for example the low priority that I want to go by skills then you can do it so there is a detailed documentation uh, which I want to show you here as part of the demo so if you go over here in here is our documentation in unified routing assignment and assignment methods in assignment methods as i said we talked about like the type of assignments high priority round robin and custom assignment and we talked about um, some of the examples of how this prioritization rule works um, so you can actually like follow this documentation which tells step by step of how this bucket got created and how it will get assigned and also we talked about how each assignment rule set works so please use this documentation which actually help you to go in deep of how this whole assignment rule set work in here right um, so pretty much in this video we talked about uh, intake rule uh, classification and uh, assignment in intake rule the case will get uh, um, routed to a specific work stream based on how you set in intake rule and when it goes to classification in classification is two parts you can have um, <clears throat> the work classification and route to queue in the work classification you can have either like you can do a manual classification of rules or you can use the ML uh, model of rules two ways and then you go to route to queue based on the classification you can actually set a route to queue so it will determine which queue it has to go and then you come to the queue in queue you actually set an operation over and you can set how you want the assignment it can go a highest capacity or a round robin or a custom assignment if you're going in custom assignment you can use the uh, prioritization rule set so it means like which one you want to get prioritized and in the assignment you can use like different criteria like based on presence or based on skills or um, however that um, you define the selection criteria it will go and assign the particular rule set so a case comes in and uh, it will determine which uh, work stream it has to go that you defined in intake rule it will go to work stream the case got classif uh, classified based on the classification rules and then based on that condition it will actually 
go to the route to queue in route to queue you specify which queue you want you can create like as many queues you want so for each queue you determine like which condition so you determine which queue that based on the condition so once you determine the condition it will actually go ahead and assign the case to that particular queue so once it goes to the queue you have a list of agents and the agents has the skills the capacity and the presence so based on the case um, um, skills and uh, based on like the agents availability agent skills agent presence it will assign the case to that particular agent when you are using the uh, uh, push model right when you do the pick model so after the classification when the route to queue is done the case it get assigned to that particular queue and this particular this queue assignment will not do because will not do anything because this is not we are not assigning the case to an agent if you are doing the pull model so this determines this concludes the uh, the demo of intake rule and uh, <clears throat> classification and uh, assignment and if you have any questions as i said you can actually look at our documentation or contact one of our urpm and we are very happy to sync up with you to go over specific areas or cl clarify uh, any questions you have so thanks for listening thank you